Hello students, in the last part that is part 3 and 4, I have explained how to solve any quadratic equation by middle term factorization and by completing the square method and in this video I am going to discuss about Sridhar Acharya's rule. According to this rule, suppose we are having one equation like ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, in that case x will be minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a. So, roots of the equation will be minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a and another one will be minus b minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a. So, if I combine these two, we can write minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a. In this expression, this b square minus 4ac, this term is called discriminant. So, here discriminant d is b square minus 4ac. After calculation of discriminant, if suppose d is less than 0, this shows no real roots and suppose d is 0 or more than 0, in that case roots are real. If d equals to 0, in that case roots are real and equal and if d is greater than 0, then roots are real and unequal. So, after calculating discriminant, we can check whether roots are there or not. If d is less than 0, no real roots. If d is greater than or equals to 0, then real roots exist. Now, if d equals to 0, then roots are real and equal, both the roots will be same. If d is greater than 0, then roots are real and unequal, that means the roots will be different. From Sridhar Acharya's rule, for any equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, the roots will be minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a. Now we know b square minus 4ac is the discriminant. So instead of writing b square minus 4ac, we can write x equals to minus b plus minus root over d by twice a. In 4 e question number 1 is write the discriminant of the following quadratic equation and first equation is x square plus x minus 2 equals to 0. If we compare x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0 with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0, in that case a will be 1, b will be plus 1 and c will be minus 2. So, we can write here a equals to 1, b equals to 1 and c equals to minus 2. Since we have to find the discriminant and we know formula of discriminant is b square minus 4ac. So, b square means 1 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 2. Since c is minus 2, it must be kept in bracket. Now, 1 minus into minus plus 4 to the 8, 8 plus 1, 9. Therefore, discriminant in this particular equation is 9. In third part of question number 1, question is 3x square minus twice x plus 8 equals to 0. Here, if you compare with ax square plus bx plus c, in that case, a will be 3, b will be minus 2 and c will be 8. So, discriminant will be b square minus 4ac, b is minus 2, so it will be minus 2 square minus 4 into 3 into 8 minus minus plus 2 into 2, 4 minus 3, 4 to 12, 12 into 8 it will be 96. So, 4 minus 96 it will be minus 92, therefore discriminant is minus 92. In fourth part question is root 3x square plus 2 root 2x minus 2 root 3 equals to 0. So, if I compare with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0, in that case a will be root 3, b will be 2 root 2 and c will be minus 2 root 3. Now, discriminant which is b square minus 4 ac, it will be b square. So, 2 root over 2 square minus 4 a is root 3 into c is minus 2 root 3, 2 square 4, root 2 square will be 2 minus into minus plus. 4 to the 8 and root 3 into root 3 3. So, it will be 4 to the 8 plus 3 8 the 24 and 24 plus 8 will give 32. Therefore, discriminant of this particular equation is 32. In question number 5, it is given x square minus twice x plus k equals to 0. If I compare this with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then a will be 1, b will be minus 2 and c will be k. So, discriminant will be b square minus 4ac, we know this formula. So, b is minus 2, minus 2 square, minus 4, a is 1 and c is k. So, 2 to the 4 minus 4 into k. 
this cannot be further simplified so this is the required discriminant in question number 6 it is given x square equal to 4x plus c if i transfer 4x and c in the other side it will be x square minus 4x minus c equals to 0 now if this equation is compared with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then a will be 1 b will be minus 4 and this c will be minus c so discriminant formula it is b square minus 4ac here b is minus 4 so minus 4 square minus 4 a is 1 and c here we got minus c minus minus plus 4 square is 16 minus minus plus 4 into c 4c so 16 plus 4c is the required discriminant in question number 2 it is given examine whether the following quadratic equations have real roots if so find the roots so in this question first of all we have to check whether roots are real and if roots are real then we have to find the roots in first part of question number 2 it is given x square plus x plus 2 equals to 0 now if I compare this with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then a will be 1 b will be 1 and c equals to 2 now discriminant is b square minus 4ac b is 1 so 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 2 so 1 square is 1 minus 4 to the 8 and 1 minus 8 is minus 7 we know if d is less than 0 then no real roots exist since d is minus 7 which is less than 0 therefore no real roots exist in second part of question number 2 it is 6 x square plus 7 x minus 10 equals to 0 if this equation is compared with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 then a will be 6 b will be 7 and c will be minus 10 now discriminant which is b square minus 4ac b is 7 so it will be 7 square minus 4 into 6 into minus 10 7 square is 49 minus minus plus 4 6 is 24 24 into 10 240 240 plus 49 it will be 289 since discriminant is greater than equals to 0 that means roots are real and since roots are real we have to find the roots and to find the roots we are going to use Sridhar Acharya's rule according to this rule x equals to minus b plus minus root over d by twice a in this question b is 7 so since it is minus b it will be minus 7 plus minus root over d d we got 289 so root over 289 divided by 2 into 6 so minus 7 plus minus root over 289 it is 17 so instead of root over 289 we are writing 17 divided by 6 to the 12 so x will be minus 7 plus minus 17 by 12 now if we separate these two one is minus 7 plus 17 by 12 and another root will be minus 7 minus 17 by 12 minus 7 plus 17 it will be 10 10 by 12 if i cancel by 2 it will be 5 by 6 and here minus 7 and minus 17 if we add we will get minus 24 by 12 if I cancel by 12, it will be minus 2. Therefore, roots of the given equation are minus 2 and 5 by 6. Third, fourth, fifth and sixth part of question number 2 are exactly same. So, I think you can do it yourself. Let me show seventh part from question number 2. Here question is 5x square minus 19x plus 17 equals to 0. Here question is 5x square minus 19x plus 17 equals to 0. If it is compared with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then a will be 5 b will be minus 19 and c will be 17 now discriminant formula is b square minus 4ac b is minus 19 here so minus 19 square minus 4 into 5 into 17 minus minus plus 19 square is 361 minus 4 5 is 20 20 into 17 340 if i subtract it will be 21 now since discriminant is greater than equals to 0 therefore real roots exist now if we use quadratic formula or Sridhar Acharya's rule then x will be minus b plus minus root over d by twice a in this question b is minus 19 so it will be minus of minus 19 plus minus root over 21 by twice a a is 5 so it will be 2 into 5 minus minus plus 19 plus minus root over 21 5 to the 10 so it will be 19 plus root over 21 by 10 and other root will be 19 minus root over 21 by 10 these are the roots of the given equation in ninth part of question number 2 it is given root 2x square 
plus 7x plus 5 root 5 equals to 0. If this equation is compared with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, a will be root 2, b will be 7 and c will be 5 root 5. Now discriminant is b square minus 4ac, b here is 7, so it will be 7 square minus 4, a is root over 2, c is 5 root 5, 7 square is 49 minus 4 5 is 20, root 2 into root 5 it will be root over 10, so 49 minus 20 into root over 10 is approximately 3.16 so 49 minus 3.16 into 10 it will be 63.20 if i subtract it will be negative minus 14.20 since d is negative so no real roots exist so no need to find the roots this is the last part from question number 2 here equation is 3x square minus 2 root over 5x minus 5 equals to 0 so here a will be 3 b will be minus 2 root 5 and c will be minus 5 so discriminant is b square minus 4ac b is minus 2 root 5 so minus 2 root 5 whole square minus 4 into a is 3 c is minus 5 minus minus plus 2 square is 4 and root 5 square is 5 minus minus plus 3 4 is 12 12 into 5 60 so 4 5 is 20 20 plus 60 it will be 80 now since discriminant is greater than equals to 0 therefore roots are real and since roots are real we have to find those roots now if we use Sridhar Acharya's rule then x will be minus b plus minus root over d by twice a b here is minus 2 root 5 so since it is minus b so minus of minus 2 root 5 plus minus root over d is root over 80 by twice a a is 3 here so minus minus plus 2 root over 5 plus minus now 80 if i factorize 80 can be written as 2 40 is 2 20 2 10 2 5 so it will be 2 square into 2 square into 5 which can be written as 4 square into 5. So instead of root over 80, we are writing 4 square into 5. So it will be 2 root over 5 plus minus root over 4 square into 5. It will become 4 root 5. So 2 root over 5 plus minus 4 root over 5 by 6. X equals to 2 root over 5 plus 4 root 5 by 6. And another root will be 2 root over 5 minus 4 root 5 by 6. 4 root 5 plus 2 root 5, it will be 6 root 5 by 6 this 6 and this 6 can be cancelled so ultimately we are going to get root 5 here 2 root 5 minus 4 root 5 by 6 now 2 root 5 minus 4 root 5 it will be minus 2 root 5 by 6 if i cancel by 2 2 3 here so it will be minus root over 5 by 3 so roots of the given equation are root over 5 and minus root over 5 by 3 I hope these sums are clear and this is the last sum from this exercise so that's all for today in the next video I'm going to show sums of 4f till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part.